All right, this is the uh, first video I've ever done for YouTube. Uh, what I'm doing is reviewing the Neotech NS8105 chainsaw. It's six and a half horsepower, 105 cc's. I bought it to use in an Alaskan mill. It comes with a 36 inch bar and chain. Uh, I bought it on Amazon. Um, I was super skeptical buying something like that on Amazon. I typically run a steel MS391, which is a little undersized uh, for milling. But um, we're gonna finally put this uh, put this Neotech NS8105. It's basically a clone of the old uh, steel 070. Um, should be great in the uh, in the Alaskan mill. Um, just gonna right now we're breaking it in. I put uh, one tank of gas at idle through it, and now we're gonna put uh, probably three tanks, um, just saw bucking until um, it gets good and broke in. Uh, before we put it into the mill. So let's, uh, let's see how it goes. And just so you know too, a couple things about this saw real quick. Um, it is a beast. Uh, it's got no break. So you're gonna wanna be real careful, wear all your safety gear. Um, my hands are a little small, but you wanna, uh, you wanna be sure that you're holding down the uh, decompression button when you go to start it. Otherwise, you'll probably break your hands. Um, the, the snap back, when, when it fires, it'll rip, the, it'll rip the, the handle, the rip cord, right out of your hand. It hurt the shit out of my hand a couple of times. Um, and a couple of reviews online, guys were complaining that the idle was set too high. I'm guessing they probably didn't take any time to read the manual. Um, it comes factory set with the, uh, with the idle a little on the high side. Um, it's going to run a little rich in the beginning. Um, that's how they want it, get extra oil to the internal parts while it's going through, uh, while it's going through breaking. Um, and they say to adjust it after, uh, after between three to five tanks of gas, I think is what the, uh, what the book said. Um, but, and this is just a small log. It's probably, I don't know, eight inches or so, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll give it a cut, see how it goes. Don't expect this thing to rev real high. Uh, it's a high power, low torque type of situation. It's not as zingy as the uh, as a you know a, a smaller saw, a steel. It also has a different pitch. It comes with a 404 pitch on the chain uh, instead of a 3 8 pitch. So it takes bigger bites, uh, but it's got the torque to push it. So let's uh, let's see how it goes. 